This episode of Sojino's Best is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hey, what's up, guys? Sojino's Best here. In this video, I'm going to be covering some of the latest news about these upcoming Apple products that people have been asking me a lot down in the comments. Also, in the email, I just got back from VidCon, which is a really big YouTube conference out in LA. And even there, people are asking me about my thoughts about the iPhone 5 and this iPad 2.5 or, or 3 that's maybe coming out in the fall as well. So, I'm going to try to cover as many of those topics right now in this video. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. With the first one, is about the Apple TV. Now, not the little small box, but an actual actual Apple HD TV. So uh, for the past two or three years, there's been rumors that Apple's gonna get into the TV market itself. So of course you can expect the TV that may have a pretty badass display on it. Uh, but as well, it'll have the Apple TV software built right into it. You won't need to have that little box or buy that little box separately. Now, as you probably know with the Google TV, it hasn't been a huge success. And I think Apple may be able to be one of these companies that can make that transition from bringing this type of software to TVs uh, that can do a little bit more, especially with, I think the one killer thing is this uh, wireless airplay that's going to be coming out the next software update for the apple tv and also of course with ios 5 to be able to do wireless airplay with games and movies and stuff like that to your apple tv that you already have now via your ipod touch or your iphone or your ipad and if apple will be able to put that same technology into an actual hd tv itself and to get that into a lot of different homes i can see that really being a really good entertainment source so that apple tv it's been rumored may come out in like 2012 we have to keep an eye on that hopefully it doesn't cost an arm and a leg which <laughs> it may just be uh, that but we'll have to wait and see about that now next up is talking about the mac pros which haven't had a design change it's probably since i was in high school uh i think they had the very similar the same uh uh, same design change back in the power PC days so they're, they're a little overdue for them and it's been rumored it may be a little bit slimmer design a little bit smaller case design and make it um, you know user uh, rackable so you can be able to have a stacks and stacks of these set up in, in a, like a server format uh, but also too I, I think that by making it a little bit smaller maybe the offer at a lower price maybe get the Mac Pros around in that seventeen hundred dollar you know price range to be a little bit more affordable for people because right now it is the most customizable mac but it is the most expensive mac as well so it's going to have all the bells and whistles of course it's going to have the the best intel processors the best graphic cards and all that good stuff thunderbolt ports off the wazoo uh, but i'm really looking forward to the design change with that mac pro now next up it's been a rumor that just came out about a week ago about seeing some macbook pro airs possibly so a a 15 inch and a 17 inch version of the macbook air or there may be Mac MacBook Pros, but now these MacBook Pros will have the same type of slim design as the MacBook Airs. And you remember Apple back in, I think it was WWDC, um, where they really announced these. No, it wasn't. I don't know. I can't remember. But at one of these conferences, Apple said this: that the way the MacBook Airs are, that's the future of laptops. And so you can already know that Apple is already working on getting these MacBook Pros down to that slim type of design, getting rid of the optical drive, which Apple has become to hate now, uh, which I don't blame. We really don't use them that much anymore. Well, at least not most people don't use them that much anymore. Um, so some thin uh, 15 inch or 17 inch MacBook Airs or MacBook Pro Airs will be a pretty, pretty awesome lineup uh, or something awesome to add to that uh, laptop lineup. And I'm just starting to stutter in there. Uh, but anyway, next up, let's talk about the iPad 2.5 or the iPad 3 or whatever it's going to be. Now, ever since the first iPad got launched, it looks like these rumors just came out the next day. Uh, but that Apple is going to be adding a retina display to the iPad and releasing that in the fall as well. Now, I don't think that's going to happen because, I mean, adding a, a retina type display to the iPad is a pretty big deal. And I think that's something you'll want to say to the official release of the iPad 3. Um, and, and, and then releasing it right now, I just think it's, it's a little too soon or in the fall. I think it'll be a little too soon. And I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. See why they'll do that. And, and also inter introducing a, a 2.5 or something like that doesn't make sense to me either. So I think Apple will... Of course, they're going to be releasing the iPad 3, but I think it's not going to be until 2012, and it will have a Retina display. Um, it will have some, you know, faster processor and all that great stuff as well, and it will be a little bit thinner and hopefully some better cameras. Maybe even bumping up the cameras to the same quality as the current iPhone 4. I think that will be good enough, and that'll be very, very plausible. So the I iPad 3, I'm thinking not coming out to 2012. I don't see it coming out in the fall. So that's just my thoughts. Uh, about that. And now to the big story of them all, the iPhone 5. Now normally the new iPhone was released in June or July around that time frame, but of course that time has come and passed. Now iOS 5 will be getting released in the fall. That comes from Apple. Of course they announced that. So of course we can expect to see the next iPhone 5 in the fall as well. There's been a big debate whether it's going to be September or October. I'm kind of leaning towards October because that's a little bit closer to the holiday shopping time frame with November. So that'll be the number one thing on their kids list uh, for the Christmas holidays. Uh, plus two, I think it gives Apple a little bit more time to 
kind of build up their inventory and their supply of these because they're not only releasing this on AT&T like they've been doing for the past four years. They're going to be releasing this on AT&T and Verizon. And that's a lot, a lot of people. A lot of people on Verizon have been holding out from buying the iPhone 4, kind of waiting for the iPhone 5. I think Apple knows this, and plus they know that in order to keep this thing in stock, they're going to need a little bit more time to, to build up their inventory for that. Now, as far as what's going to be inside this, this iPhone 5, I think the internals is going to be similar to what you find in the iPad 2. It's going to have a dual-core A5 processor, better graphics, uh, more RAM. And, uh, and then as far as the design itself, now, it's been rumored that the front of the screen or the screen itself, the front of the screen, that doesn't make sense. I mean, that could be the back of the screen, right? But anyway, the screen itself is going to be a little bit bigger uh, than the uh, previous versions of the iPhone, which will add a little bit more real estate um, for things like multi-touch gestures because, you know, Apple just loves multi-touch. You know, they love it with the trackpad. So I think the iPhone 5 has a slightly bigger screen. It'll allow for a little bit more possibilities with that. Plus, applications and movies would just look that much better. And since it's Retina, uh, they make it a little bit bigger. Still not going to really lose any quality at all. Now, as far as the camera, the rear-facing camera, I would think it would be no less than 8 megapixels and also be able to shoot 1080p video, 1080p HD video. I think that would be awesome in uh, addition to it as well. Front-facing camera, they may bump up the quality just a little bit as well. Now, um, there's been some designs here. So you've seen some of the images that I've been putting up here on the side about some reported images of what the iPhone 5 may look like. And if it looks anything like these, I think it's going to be a really, really good winner on the Apple's hands. So anyway, I think that's going to be released in October. I think it's just going to be one version. It's been rumored it may offer like a cheaper version of it that may be missing some features but i don't know about that uh, plus two uh, let me i forgot to add this before the iphone 5 story but the ipod touch i think they'll the next generation ipod touch i think they'll be also releasing that around the same time frame and um, it's also possible that may have like a 3g chip inside of it since apple is going with this cloud type of computing cloud music with itunes and all that stuff so the ipod touch will want to stay connected as much as possible so i think a 3g chip inside of that is very possible as well so anyway guys this is just my thoughts about all these cool little apple stories that have been going out here but before we head out of here we're going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video and that is jack threads only suckers pay full price if you love alternative apparel brands like kid robot hurley and stussy but hate wasting all of your cash on them listen up you can score these premium brands at up to 80 percent off every day there's a new invite only shopping club just for guys or girls who like to dress like guys uh, called jack thread serving up street skate and surfwear brands at prices that will melt your brain there is a wait list to join but if you head to jackthreads.com forward slash skb you'll get instant access to all the killer hookups go now all right, guys, again, just like I said, these are just my thoughts about these stories. Please leave a comment down below about what you think is going to happen with all these new Apple products. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.